हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्टर्स इन सी प्लस प्लस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दीज आर माय डिटेल्स यू कैन यूज दीज इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर योर स्टडी पर्पजेस नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द टॉपिक कंस्ट्रक्टर सो इन दिस स्लाइड आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर एज वेल एज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर सो कंस्ट्रक्टर्स आर यूज टू इनिशलाइज डेटा मेंबर्स ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट so whenever you are uh, creating any object of the class uh, class allocates a, some amount of memory to its data members and uh, those data members automatically uh, receives garbage values so if you want to remove those garbage values and you want to initialize those data members with some particular values for that purpose we can use constructors so this is the requirement of constructor now some characteristics which are available with constructors so constructors are called automatically whenever the object of its class is created so you don't have to call constructor it will uh, call automatically whenever you are creating object of a class it must be defined in public part of the class uh, you don't have sorry constructor uh, don't have any return type not even void it cannot be inherited means base class constructor can be called through its derived class so this concept you will be uh, uh, able to understand in tutorial related to inheritance uh, it has same name as its class this is important uh, whenever you are uh, defining any constructor constructor uh, should be having name of the class then defining more than one constructor inside a class is called constructor overloading means you can define more than one constructors in a class uh, this concept is known as constructor overloading and they cannot be virtual this concept is also related to inheritance which you will uh, study in later tutorials so after discussion uh, now uh, you can see types of constructor there are total four types of constructor default parameterized constructor with default arguments and copy constructor so there are total four types available in this video i am going to discuss only about default constructor so default constructor uh, do not receive any arguments from the object when they are created it is used to initialize object with a null value if we do not pass any argument to the object which we have created then compiler automatically calls the default constructor a class can only have one default constructor because we require arguments to overload any constructor and we already know that default constructor does not take any argument for so for overloading purpose we need arguments but default constructor doesn't need any argument so overloading of default constructor is not possible so for so uh, in a class we can uh, define only one default constructor now with the help of this syntax you will be able to understand how you can define default constructor so you can see this definition it is default constructor uh, name of this default constructor will be same as name of class and you don't have to use any return type here and inside curly braces you can define body of the default constructor after default constructor you can define other uh, member functions related to a particular class now this is example here i have defined distance class in which two members feet and inches are available inside this definition which is related to default constructor feet and inch both are initialized with zero you can also use any other value here then read function which will read feet and inch value from user and show function will display the values on console now this is main function in main function a uh, d1 object is created so whenever you are going to execute this program uh, then d1 will be uh, uh, requiring some uh, amount of memory uh, for storage purpose so here default constructor will be called automatically and this default constructor will initialize 0 to feet and inch then d1 dot show will print the values on console so you can see that feet Uh, equals to zero and inch equals to zero is displayed on console. Then d1 dot read will read some values from user which are five and three here. Then d1 dot show will print those values again on console. So feet and inch uh, five and three will be displayed on console. So you can see that uh, 
uh, when d1 object is created default constructor is called automatically and uh, default constructor has initialized feet and inch by 0 uh, automatically so uh, if you want to create more objects like d2 d3 d4 and so on so all these objects will be initialized by 0 and 0 in feet and inch respectively because uh, we have initialized these variables by 0 you can choose any value whichever you want to assign uh, into feet and inch variables so this is all about default constructor so with the help of constructor you can remove garbage values and you can uh, assign uh, specific values that you want to uh, uh, assign uh, into the data members which are available in, in the classes thank you for watching this video